Access Advisors Open House and Disability Arts Festival, Art Slam 2012, produced by Jill Judd. In Memory, Ellen Lieber. The 2012 Access Advisors Open House and Disability Arts Festival is dedicated to the memory of our dear colleague, Ellen Lieber, charter member of the Access Advisors. Ellen's enthusiasm, good nature, and consummate accessibility expertise have played a large role in our successes. She was a scientist, designer, educator, and art lover. She was a larger-than-life person, and we miss her. From the Heart, Rita Agnes. I began painting as a way to heal myself. My disability did not stand in my way. Once I began, I could not stop. A force beyond me compelled me to create. I was amazed at what flowed through me. I wished to share that gift. Hidden Faces, Martin Briggs. I simply enjoy the work. I love it. An artist is someone who puts emotions and feelings into what he does. La Femme, Ruth Ann Starr. My art is expressing within me. My mind is free to wander. Lonely Highway, Sofia Alvarez. I have done artwork my whole life. It relaxes me. I love to paint what I see in dreams. Lamb and Bamboo, Tatiana Boyko. I feel that I should make artwork to explore my God-given talents. I use this talent to express what I love about being alive. I like to help others to feel better by seeing my artwork. I feel very grateful. Lighthouse, Ruth Defoe. Art means so much to me. It has been a part of my life forever. I feel happy when I paint, and I want people looking at my art to feel that happiness. King of Hearts, Paul Polizano. Art is one of my passions, along with singing. I am in the art room five days a week, both in the arc and creativity explored. The atmosphere of the art room calms me. Untitled. Stella Tse. I was born in China and came to the U.S. when I was 14 years old. I have been drawing and painting since I can remember, and I love it. Poppy Flowers, Dorothy Wong. I came to art class to learn to paint and hang out with my friends. Art makes me feel good and makes me want to be nice to people.
My Painting of the Book, Jacob Atterbury. This is my favorite thing to paint. My very best friend gave it to me. He is very famous. My Midnight Candle, Nick Golick. I was looking at my comic book so hungry. I turned on the candle and watched the snow outside the window. She loved the snow, but she doesn't like the rain. The candle makes me happy because it lights up. German star, Chelsea Feinberg. It's my imagination, it's a German star. Beach, Nina Iverson. I paint because I like to. I love the ocean. You hear the waves, I like the water. Thinking about the ocean inspired this painting. The Brownie Bear, Samantha Lau. I got this bear when I was little and when I was born in the hospital. They gave it to me because I was having some problems. Maybe I was sick. Painting makes me feel excited. Gray Spot Seal, Sammy Liebenstern. My seal composed for me very, very well. As an owner of the seal, I feel very, very proud. The ideas are that the creature I draw is very, very beautiful. He waits for me at home. Color, Jose Lozano. Painting is fine. The color is fine. Yellow, blue, purple. Telephone, per Mariska. Being an artist with a disability is an experience that has been like a crazy roller coaster ride. Sometimes I'm at the top of my game and sometimes not. The telephone is a huge part of my life and helps me keep in touch. Japanese title, Laura McCandles. I'm Laura and I love to be happy when I paint. Wonderful. I like Japanese food. It's a painting of Japan. Cell phone. Edwin Mejia. I like color, drawing. It makes me happy. The colors, the words, everything about it. I like it. It makes me paint. I love art.
going up, Jennifer Sayok. I was going up in a dream. The World, Rebecca Shu. Having a disability makes me feel very important. An artist inspires me to do a good job of painting. I chose a heart and the world together. The world is an important place for trees, animals, and people to grow in. San Francisco, Kate Thurston. I express my feelings when I paint. San Francisco is a place I've liked for a long time. I like to go to Chinatown and walk around and have dim sum. I love going to the beach and spending time with family. Year of the Dragon, Michelle Troutman. This painting represents to me the theme of unity, and it incorporates my hope that someday all persons with disabilities will have an active political and social voice in the world without oppression. Justin Bieber, Debbie Trans. It's cool, and one of my favorite paintings I did. He's cute, only 17 years old. Justin Bieber. Next year, he's turning 18. Dolphin. Xenia Rolfs. I saw the water and the sea and the ocean and Little Mermaid. Painting makes me happy. This painting is a lot of fish. Allison's Garden, Allison Hensley, Flowers. Zebras. Danielle Brindel. As a disabled artist, art makes me feel comfortable. I do more unique backgrounds and I add more layers of color. I do brush strokes for the background first and draw the figure from either a picture or memory. Art is good exercise. Ordinary Birdhouse, Stefan Harhaj. I like to make art because I like to put images in my mind onto paper. It's easy to do because I put my heart and soul into it. Listerine, Carolyn Kelly. I like to make art because it makes me feel good. My pictures tell a story about the way I feel and the things that I see in my life.
Star Wars, David Kruger. Art makes me really happy about myself. It makes me feel happy to experience the different colors, to draw what comes to mind. Circles, triangles, ovals, hexagons, the Hulk. I like to do mountains and the Special Olympics. Killer Midnight Tornado, Bill Lilly. I'll just put it this way. My art is hardcore. You know what I'm saying? Hardcore. I don't know what other people think about my art because I can't read their minds. But when I look at my drawings, I see great art. Hands. Shannon Mallers. I like to go on outings. We go to museums. I like to play games. The clown game where you knock the teeth out with a ball. I like to visit pet shops. I take care of good animals. I feed them. Hold them. Tim McGraw. Mike Marino. I'm Mike. I've been at the Arts of Life for about a year now. I love to draw. I care about my family and friends and like to draw them. I also love to draw about my life. Atlantic Ocean Kathy McDonald. I like to paint circles and different colors. I'm painting colors now. I like to paint on windows most. I have my own workstation at the Arts of Life. Dress up. Ridley Mandala. I want to be an artist when I grow up. I want to learn drawing and painting. I like to do a heart and horses and picnics and tea parties. Lift High the Cross, Christiane Massal. I like to make art because I understand the way to work with paint and go over it and use layers. That's kind of new for me. Springtime Carousel, Adam Pick. I don't like to start with a plan. I enjoy happy accidents. People love the color and movement in my pieces, and that comes out in the process. Most of Triangle Tan. Francis Roberts. I'm learning how to draw and paint more. When I first started, it was trees and houses. I haven't made flowers in a long time. I'm trying new things. I like to make art because I'm learning new things. Yellow Bird Linda Ruska. I make pictures, colored pictures. I do art. I draw pictures. I think if you don't think, you don't use paint. I use paint. I like blue paint. I come here to the paint shop. Grand 
Gorilla in the Jungle, Christopher Schinkel. My subject matter can be anything from cars, to mountains and eagles, to flags. My dad and family used to be in the military. I also get pleasure from experimenting with what looks good to me by drawing circles and designs. Bernice Rena Bruce, Alexander Scott. I like to draw on paper and all kinds of different things, letters and comics and all kinds of different things. I feel and express and I am happy because I make it so everyone can see that I made art. Hansel and Gretel, Kelly Stone. I like to paint horses, man, clouds, hands, birds, trees, grasses, all things. It makes me feel good. I like to draw flowers, different colors, and numbers, Chicago and buildings. Emily Down Under, Tim Stone. I like to make art because it relaxes me and makes me feel good. Abstract art is really cool. I like it because a lot of people see things in it differently. The Hulk. Benjamin Torres. I paint quickly and use many layers. I paint from my imagination. My art is about good times and positive thinking. I'm proud of my country, Puerto Rico. Thirty-five Hearts, Debbie Vasquez. I'm inspired by being, by Grandma and Denise, people in the studio, different shapes, by my collections of newspaper pictures and articles about arts of life, insects, spiders, and holidays. Avatar, Bobby Varon. The red paint is what I do with a big brush. Different colors, oh, different ones. I put tape there, put it up on the wall, I do. I'm an artist, because I do that kind of stuff. The Giraffe, Mariana Weir. I like to make art. My art is so beautiful. It makes me happy. I like flowers to make me feel better. This job has more freedom, and I keep myself occupied. Jean Wilson, brother. Jean Wilson. What I see in my artwork is my life. The painting of La Arche House, where I live, is my favorite because I learned something new when I made it. I get my ideas from my head and also from my life and family. Cowgirl, Joshua Wikes. Art helps me to get my feelings and expressions out. I like to be happy and do art. I like body figures, models of people, animals, and trees. I also like fantasy stuff, like dragons and unicorns. They are very cool.
Stories of Underdog, Christina Zion. Art is important to me. I choose what colors and shapes I want to make. I like making friends a lot and helping people. The studio is fun and they are really nice to me. Modernity, Maggie Baker. Modernity expresses spirituality today. The broken gates of the abstract cathedral represent the church's fragmentation. The print of a tennis shoe connotes the modern age as we sometimes trample our own spirituality. I am painless when happily creating. Jean. Oma Lee Bridges. Well, it means I can create things, and it means that I can enjoy what I'm doing, and it means that I don't have to clean toilets for the rest of my life. I realize I have a disability. Not noticeable, but it's there. I can handle being a disabled artist. Amiga, William Ely. William's drawings and paintings are often inspired by female figures, and his vibrantly colored pieces are popular with collectors. He also sings, plays a guitar, and serves as Santa Claus. Aquarium, Anna Johnson. I love being able to do art. I never knew I was an artist until I came to becoming independent. Art makes me feel happy and productive. It makes me happy that other people enjoy my art. It's not work, it's fun. Sylvia, Allison Kohler. I really like staying focused. Art helps me to breathe. It helps me to think more clearly. It makes me feel relieved, heavenly. It helps me to think more calmly about the things that are happening now, not just in the future. St. Patrick. Fred Lund. Fred creates weavings, rugs, paintings, drawings, and sculptures with a variety of subjects. Recently, one of his fire trucks was presented to Santa Rosa's fire department in appreciation of the paramedic team. Manhattan. Mark Mueller. Art is fun. I enjoy what I do, actually. It's exciting that I'm getting to show some talent that I haven't before. My disability doesn't limit me at all. Painting boats and canvases and stuff like that. George. Eileen Spaulding. I like art. I don't have awards for my paintings, and I don't have some of them. I draw real fiction somehow. Real magic cat, pop art, my son, beach house, and movies old and new. Blue Lagoon. Michael Sism Kwitski. Just wait.
my dear, Nancy Elmer. The wind rose of the desert is our march into time. It is an integral, eternal part of our infinite being and the great universe that we are made of. In gracious living, we write our song of love to you forever. Beauty and Darkness, Crystal Lackman. In the depths of the sea, creatures produce their own light. So it is with us. Disabilities cause people to feel lost in the dark. Facing challenges others don't may be discouraging. However, light can be found. Bird Brain, Frana Lesson. I think my artwork is all about my mental illness, but not in a conscious way. It's in the lives I draw and the images I create. Art is my life, which expresses things that don't have words. I am very grateful for this gift. The Clarences, Robert Medeiros. There is no such thing as a bad artist. One person's gold is another person's trash. And one person's trash is another person's gold. Everyone is an artist. Handbag, Bettina Roth. Idea from Better Homes, Easy Bazaar Crafts. Decoration, not utility purse. Fun to design, despite needling my fingers. Everything came out of the scraps at the Creative Wellness Center. I had not sewn for 30 years. The theme of different purples looks richer than the original pattern. Untitled, Charles Smith. I made this painting by copying various photographs, some of which I took myself. The photo I started with was a black and white picture of a seated man and the woman standing behind him. The whole painting took about four months to complete. In Life's Stacks Stephen Ternulo. This art piece was made on a new computer, thinking of Tut's tomb with all its contents, but to be a modern imagery of the same idea. It was a rewarding time. Glad I was given opportunity to create it. Untitled. Wilma Titchy. I'm a frustrated artist. I don't feel like an artist because I don't know how to sell it. I've been doing textile work recently. Drawing, Philip Otis Brown. After losing sight due to an injury at the age of 45, 12 years ago, I found that by drawing, I could see. I take a camera out and shoot pictures in all directions. Then I blow them up to a large screen TV and I am able to see the world that I did not see as I walked right by. Doyle, Triptych, Bill Bruckner. This painting is a part of my continuing series of portraits of people with disabilities. We are often viewed with pity, derision, or amazement. In this portrait, my intent is to show Doyle looking back at the viewer with direct and open curiosity.
squirrel, small bushy-tailed rodent, Roy Childress. He was, and still is, avid about coloring and wanted his works presented in public. Now he makes original drawings and colors them. He has an innocent attitude and intense concentration. Untitled, Carol Cressy. I like to color mandalas because they relax you when you are stressed, but they are lots of fun to do. Knots, Lorna Granger. My disability has always affected my reality. In this piece, the use of red, white, and black express depression and anxiety. Painting this helped me get a better understanding of myself and alleviate the depression and anxiety. Divinity Glow, Michael Griffin. I draw the visions within my inner soul on blank pages in front of me. My disability doesn't affect my artistic skills or prevent me from doing what I love. Sometimes I suffer from artistic block, but that happens to everyone. The gift, Marie Hall. The dog is not the gift, although he was last year. He looks sad, wondering if he can be replaced. I have both physical and mental disabilities, and I've been replaced. Normal people have befriended me only to reject me later. Face in the Clouds, Laura McChesney. Face in the Clouds is a painting I did for my mom 15 years ago. It took me 10 months to complete. Cat in the Hat Scenario Sophia, a.k.a. Kathy Mullen Depiction of revelations and the third of stars falling as a way of suggesting the world will not come to an end in 2012. Credits go to God for giving me hands and Hiroshige as my hero in perfection. Untitled, David Posey. It's a magnitude of my feeling put together to make me the person I am. Happiness, Olive Sonden Klausner. My disability does not affect this artwork of happiness and boldness. Warm red contrasting with the cool blue evokes a bold statement of happiness. I see happiness while I am underneath the moon and stars. I love art. Larry, Matt Tasley. I believe that I am duly diagnosed, and my diagnosis certainly affects my work, and that I paint as an expression of God's interpretation of recovery. I paint to achieve a higher consciousness with God, therefore heal and recover.
Wolf Pack, Brian Custance. I like darkening and contrasting my expressive drawings. They blend well with my creativity and ideas of how my disability relates to how I can express my art. Pamela, Mark, Hobe. Art helps me work through my frustrations and I enjoy creating art during my free time. In this portrait, I believe Pamela is a dancer and her dress is very beautiful. The World, J. Lewis. It is challenging to learn new tools on the computer, then do it on my own. The world is part of my world of tarot. I interpret traditional cards in my own style with digital pictures. I feel good making them. Untitled, Paul Soria. His Cal teacher says he uses color, paint, and pastels to deal with the stresses of daily life. Magic Rabbit, Chris Wilson. I tried my best to make artwork that makes people happy and puts a smile on their face when they see it. I helped the place where I live to get donations. That way. Five Alarm Chili Richard Chapman as a client of the San Francisco Lighthouse for the Blind and Visually Impaired, I have learned to express myself through artwork. I try not to allow my disability to stop me from creating my art. The Lost Girl, Cicely Ames. My experience has been a disassociation with the world. I'm learning to find myself through art. The lost girl means I felt depressed and alone, and through art, I feel important. Watching from the sidelines, Alan Cassidy. In my painting, guys play tackle football, and it makes me sad that I cannot due to my disability. Thinking about the chipmunks makes the sadness go away. Painting the chipmunks makes me happy and glad I am an artist. When I was 13, Sarah Denniston. A month before my 14th birthday, they amputated my leg because I had cancer. I like making art because I'm expressing myself. Sometimes it's hard to be a person with a disability, but overall it makes me stronger. Words. Trixie Galetti. My name is Trixie, and I'm an artist with a disability. I am part of People First and Kiwanis Club. I believe people with disabilities should be treated kindly because we are nice and sweet. I'm looking at you now.
Amy House. This is my infamous eyeball plant. It means don't make eye contact with people. If you didn't know, people with autism usually look at people's mouths instead of their eyes to see what they're saying. My childhood. Elizabeth Rose Cordes. I was born with the head size of a 12-year-old girl. I was expected to live six months. I had to wear a helmet. People called me names. Now I'm very strong in my own way. Making art has raised my self-esteem. The Forest Spirit Savior, Jamal Cordes. My artwork has shown me that my mental health and learning disabilities do not determine my abilities as an artist. Creating art has given me the opportunity to grow in my life and awaken my spirituality. Art is my path from darkness to light. Expressions. Betty Kunell. I have a disability. I'm an epileptic. Treat me as an equal. I have experienced bullying. I don't like it. I have feelings. Do not walk over me. I am not happy they cut the budget for the studio. I'm happy the studio is still here. Pablo is my name. Pablo Rayner. I paint art. I paint art at home and at studio. I paint art on my own for people to see what I see with my eyes. Disability, bringing out the inner you, Jerry Sadler. As a child, my ear popped and paralyzed part of my brain. I can't read or write, but I can paint. God made me this way to help kids. I've seen kids made fun of. People can learn from me and follow in my footsteps. Iris with hearing aid. Iris Smith. This is me with my hearing aid. I like to paint myself because it makes me happy. The lost soul who is always looking at me. Ryan Stoltz. The lost soul is the outside world. They pass judgment without knowing who I am or what I've been through. I know exactly who I am and what I want to accomplish in my life. In that realm, I am not lost at all. Blue Butterfly, Alex Hayes. I like to draw and paint. It's fun to do. The Shapes and Colors of My World, Jenny Penser. I enjoy painting and making different things with watercolor and paint. Butterfly, 
Cassie Surly. I like to do painting and make friends at the college. As she lay there, Charles Blackwell. I'm playing with drips to create the image to make it fun for me and enjoyable for those who see it. Be yourself, Jorge Gomez. I try to create art that shows my fun and accepting personality using characters and words. Moving Water, Spencer Gway. I love art. I started when I was eight, thanks to a school fundraiser. I've been doing art ever since. Dracula Orchid, Erica Jacob. I like orchids and I like to draw them. Fingerprint. Halisi Noel Johnson. Hi, I'm Halisi Noel Johnson. I have Down syndrome. I've been doing art all my life. I plan to attend art school, art academy, and travel around the country to study more art. Untitled, Shirley Peterson. Statement in Color, Thomas Altieri. Sometimes a disability will move you to extreme feelings, and sometimes it moves you to a single thought, a statement of life. A Slave's Objection, Mark Chapin. When I painted A Slave's Objection, I didn't pre-plan the painting. I just dove right into it, using some techniques of mine from the 90s. As a man of the mental health system, I guess I just often thought I was a slave. The Two Clocks Steve Freshel. I don't like the extended daylight savings time. I liked it when it used to begin in April and end in October.
Bouquet of Balloons, Harold Grant. I like colors. The Vase, Michael Kaiser. It's like wrestling with the devil, which makes me more intense and concentrated. Clarity, Hillary Kane. My experience as an artist with bipolar disorder is that I am recovered. My artwork expresses my inner qualities of my God self. Clarity is clear seeing, feeling, thinking, and doing. My experience of recovery is for love and goodness. Lovely. Larry Nittell. May the world be as simple as this painting was to me. I brush side and top while patting on small globules of paint, brushing without strokes. Jesus, Texas flag, Matt Cradoville, Jesus. Helium Balloon, Jerome Cranick. Creative work fuels expressions and ideas. Gray Mist, Robert Marionetti, Average Painter. Mystic Lion, Kitty Meow. While researching the evolution and extinction of the dodo bird, the giant tortoise of the Galapagos, and Aldabra, I discovered the Mystic Lion in Mauritius, where I decided to move. With my disability after brain damage, my life is on hold. Browder Ridge, Oregon, Perry Olson. Taking photos in nature is easy and challenging at the same time. I'm always looking for an interesting composition, which either grabs me immediately or makes me take a second look. Glass Tile, Brent Pollard. This bottle reminds me of winter.
Birds and Bamboo, John Posner. Living with disability is twofold. You have the effects of the disability along with the challenges of often limited resources. The bird on the left represents hope and faith. The one on the right, diligence and progress. Sunset in Paradise, Lisa Preston. I love painting palm trees and beach scenes. They're very relaxing to me. I've always loved art, and as a person with cerebral palsy and depression, art is something I can accomplish. Majestic Mountains of Marin, Berger Salberg. Bear, Pam Scogans. I enjoy doing ceramics and I love making animals as real as possible. The Forgery, Maurice Shawaganavi. I just do art wherever, whenever, whatever, whoever, why ever, however I am. Catwalk, Michael Stone. The creative process is very therapeutic and helps me forget my problems, thus alleviating my anxiety. Minotaur. Anne W. Sutter. This calm minotaur with dove hooves for peace reminds us that the individual is not always threatening. Likewise, the mentally ill are not always dangerous. Do not stereotype or stigmatize us. We must have good reason for peace. Island Paradise, Marie Tannehill. Anyone and everyone can do various types of artwork, including or regardless of physical or mental disabilities. I have been doing art since I was five years old in kindergarten. I love doing creative projects. Portrait of Jesus Christ, Barbara Van Dyke. Jesus is the light of the world. His coming is imminent. A ripe Peach, Kathleen Flanagan. I have been an artist since I drew images in butter at my mother's kitchen table. At the beginning of my career as an artist, I triumphed over my disability by creating art. My disability has enabled me to be the artist I am today.
Flower Works, Veronica Lewis. I believe that anyone like me with a learning disability can do anything that they put their mind to. I painted this by the mood that I was in at the time. Feelings, Christina Over. This picture is showing my feelings on being an artist with a disability. I have mixed feelings. There are times I think it's great and times I hate it. I think my disability makes me the artist I am. I'm glad to be me. Bowling, Christina Simpson. While growing up with a disability, I have found that artwork and bowling are fun and relaxing to me. The idea for my painting came from participating in the Special Olympics. It is a place where people with a disability can come and be equals. Walk this way. Passel Helminski. This art embraces the way I walk. It takes me a long time to get from point A to point B. If you would overlap my movements, you would have my art. Motherhood. Catherine Huberty. I am very excited to be in this year's Art Slam. The world of art has given me much pleasure during my recovery. Making art is a way I can express myself and gain confidence. Thanks for this wonderful opportunity. Running it into the ground. Marianne Hunt Valencia. As an artist, I have always created from my innermost self. As my disability progresses, my fear and hesitation dissipates, and I am able to dig deeper into what I want to express and how I want to express it. A very freeing experience. Meditation. Embrace. Mira Ingram. I create as a meditation exercise, quieting and focusing my mind on the minute details of the whole. I see generic medical equipment as an empty canvas waiting to be personalized, made part of one's identity, not unlike tattoos or haircuts. Foot drop. Mina Kamal. Color inspired me to reverse engineer my physical disability and create a new canvas of life filled with hope, passion, and perseverance. I am born again. Alternative Medicine, Stephen Patrick Leahy. Gender dysphoria is a cause of my recurrent depression. I tried electroconvulsive therapy. I considered sex reassignment surgery. Eve, my pseudonym, as my homunculus, Jungian true self, contemplates the golden flower, symbol of the path to individuation. Pacific Depths, Tom Lowe. As a senior, I try to bring my life experience to my creative work. As the years pass, finding beauty in the world around me gets easier, so I seek to stretch my vision and expression.
Green H2O, Deborah Lyons, Peaceful. The Yin and Yang of Life, Glenn Bullock. The whole process of mosaic is meditation. This particular piece is a double meditation. I was able to meditate while doing art about meditation. This meditation helps me pay attention to my breathing, get centered, and stay grounded. Patchwork. Paul de Liberto. Doing art makes me feel happy, he motions up to the sky. Connecting Opposites, Peter Feschke. Opposites do indeed attract, negatives and positives alike. They do indeed unite. This is often shown within the walls of expressive art groups. Being creative within these walls holds us together at MBIN. Iris I, Glenn Fisher. I enjoyed putting this piece together. Art helps me to stay calm, focus, and to concentrate. Forward with four Christmas trees, Ken Fwetch. I close my eyes and think about an idea. Then when I draw it out, it helps my thoughts. I like using fine point Sharpie pens because they are precise and quick. Landscape. Randall Haynes. I try to paint what I see. Sometimes something different comes out. The healing power of art is the story behind it. Where I am right now, Renee Kasich. Putting life back together after my stroke is a puzzle. I collect my scattered pieces and fit them into a life that works for me. I can no longer organize by the same priorities. I struggle, but the struggle to fit in is worth it. Recycling my life, Dick Catman. When I am doing art, I am calm and can think and focus. The process of this piece is representational of putting everything back in order and together. I am recycling pieces of my life. The Beautiful Sunset in Honolulu, Teresa Kilgariff. The most important thing about painting is how it makes me feel. Doing art helps me breathe and take my time. Finishing a piece makes me proud. I like painting scenes of Hawaii. It makes me feel warm and happy.
Paper Weaving Peter Kovacs When I am creating art, I like to be organized. In this piece, I was able to practice putting things in order. Doing this helps me with organization and order in my life. My art is like my life. It is organized. Snails in the Garden, Larry Mason. I like being an artist at Marin Brain Injury Network. From Above, Lisa Mayock. Living with an injured brain has changed my perspective of life. It can be simple and easy, then change to chaos quickly. Art therapy calms me and centers my brain so I can see the world through new eyes and then create. The sun setting into the ocean, Stephanie Nigoesco. Art helps me by being able to get what's inside of me out into the universe. This painting is about sensory awareness and of experiencing a lot of growth in my life. A Woven Diary of My Life, James Reader. I weave my relationships. Disabled, I have become one of those people with whom it is impolite to stare. We can meet at the intersection of yesterday and tomorrow and talk. Don't worry about being late. I have acquired the gifts of patience and perseverance. Untitled, Marina Rosen. I like to paint. I love bright colors. In memory, you will be missed by your MBIN family. The Big Heart, Michelle Schloss. Every color has to do with life. Colors bring creativity out and can be expressed. I draw a big heart. I think of just how important in life the heart is. Doing art projects makes me feel proud of myself. Sunrise, Sunset, Lise Schurig. When I am painting, I feel like I have the world by the tail. I paint out of sheer energy. I like to plan what I'm going to paint next, which I don't always do in real life. Mostly, I like looking at my creation. I love my grandfather, Jessica Sugarman. This is a snapshot of a flower with bright colors. Doing art makes me feel happy because it makes me think about people I love in my life. Group of Colors That Work, Arthur E. Welch. Creating art gives me the freedom to express whatever I want, including my feelings. I like seeing what happens when I put different colors together.
Snow. Brian Adamson. I love art. I love to draw the snow. Lemon, Sherry Oren. I like doing art. I did a clay piece that reminds me of a Picasso painting. I like painting. Yellow Flowers, Paulina Gamma. I love art. It's my favorite. I love painting and mixing the colors together and working on canvas paper. I want to continue working and learn more art. Untitled, Kathleen Green. A blind artist, Kathleen enjoys working in watercolor. She repeats her brushstrokes in bright colors throughout her paintings. Greg's Imagination, Greg Leones. I like doing art because it's fun. I like drawing pictures of my face. I also like drawing things that I like to do, including bowling. Rainbow, Timothy Moore. I like to do art. It makes me proud of myself. Untitled, Julia Peters. Julia enjoys watercolor painting in the Marin Ventures Art Studio twice a week. She enjoys using bright colors. The Way to Grandma's House, Rick Schmidt. I like having art. That's the Bay Bridge. That's the way I go to Grandma's house. That's the way to San Francisco. That water is deep. The deep part is scary. Lighthouse, James Scott. I love doing art because it helps me to calm down and to help me think of more art to do, and it keeps me busy. San Francisco, Peter Tran. Art makes me calm. This is the Golden Gate Bridge. This is my home at nighttime.
Teapot, Tony Tresco. I love art because I get to make stuff. It makes me feel happy when I make something. I like making teapots because they are fun and the tea is nice too. Cry of emotion, Sean McAlpine. Your eyes mesmerize, like with your smile. Gazing into your eyes fills me with warmth in my heart. Achieving success in life is not impossible to obtain. With determination, just reach out and grab it yourself. Headland Landscape, Emmett McQuiston. Self-expression employs composition to immobile factors, impacting this disabled artist. Fidelity, mimicking reality, is messy, confusing, and stressful. Emerges in landscape, reality into literacy, contenting California Headland's ocean facade, preserving Sir Francis Drake's 1957 inception. How we see, Kalia Musetter. Often, most invisible things, the least valued or even normally discarded, have great beauty. It is a matter of how we see, just as often the least powerful person, rejected or marginalized by the community, has wisdom, insight, and beauty to share. Voices, okay, send soup in, Samuel Osler. My voices are, tada, a ball and chain. They are punishment from a hurtful childhood, if you want to consider it a childhood at all. Why do bad things happen to good people? I don't know. Hope, peace, and art are what remain for me. It's all too much, Matthew O'Karma. As an artist with autism, the world seems loud, mysterious, dangerous, yet full of wondrous things. My animated short film, called Adventures in Autism, says, We walk among you. Be kind. Say hello and give us a chance. We're strange, sure, but strange can also be kind of great. JFK, Spiritual Portrait, J. Peterson. As an artist with a disability, I have long admired and been inspired by JFK and his family's understanding, respect, and advocacy for people with disabilities. Irony. John Quavito, having only one eye with 2400 vision, it's hard to see how people perceive you. In my case, it is ironic how I read in small rather than large print. It's how I grew up, not knowing of programs for visually impaired people. It's also ironic to fall in love with visual art, though it is not my strongest field physically. Hurricane Hope, Joaquin Reyes. I think my art reflects my disability and helps with my imagination. I feel the most important part of painting is painting what is not perfect. I hope with this painting I can inspire other people with disabilities. Serenity, John Hill. I have always enjoyed drawing and could draw an acceptable dog or horse head at the age of five. Over the years, I let my hobby slip away. Now, my doctors retrieve my old love. I have heartfelt thank yous for them. They have been wonderful and very helpful. I have learned much from them. They have all my thanks. B. 
beautiful, Judith Endelman. Judith has always enjoyed art, regularly going to museums when living in New York, and attending an art appreciation group in San Francisco for years. Making art is something new to her life since coming to Rhonda Goldman Plaza. Three Stallions, Seymour Juro. In his spare time, Seymour always made art, mainly oil paintings, but also sculpture in clay or wood. Since having dementia, his art has changed dramatically, but nonetheless, he still identifies as an artist. Untitled, Sonia Kittner. Sonia worked many years as a medical doctor, in Romania as a pediatric MD, and in the USA as a psychiatrist MD. Now, in her 90s, she discovered her talents. My House, Alice Liebman. Alice has always been interested in art, visiting museums and galleries, Design, decoration, and decor have been significant aspects of her life. In the past, she worked at a studio and has produced a number of colored glass works of significance. The Rose, Molly Portner. I suddenly discovered a new method of expressing myself at 97 years old. I never thought I had art talent until being at Rhonda Goldman Plaza. I love art now. Amazing Connections Richard Ravel. Richard Ravel, MD, is a noted clinical pathologist and author. Living with Alzheimer's, he enjoys art for communication and self-expression, discovering and using natural materials with their imperfections and characteristics. Business in the Garden. Ray Ryder. I've always appreciated the arts, even while being a physician. Now I have an opportunity to express myself a bit, and that's fun. God's half-witted brother, Barbara Romaine. As a painter who is legally blind, I make stencils of symbols and icons. Also, text is often an important element. In God's half-witted brother, my inspiration was an African creation myth about God's perfection and the mistakes of his half-witted brother. Open brand new, Mario Sharmer. Art fuels me like gas fuels in NASCAR. It represents a change for hope. When I paint, everything stops. Only love comes forward. Art represents my hope to heal Mother Earth. My art is pure love that transmits positive energy. More to it than meets the eye, Sam Smith. Being visually impaired means going through life as if it were a Rorschach test. It's only natural that having a disability affects me being an artist. For when you can't do something, you have to get creative.
Revision. Claire Spector. Revision was knitted blind while lying flat during rehab. Neurovisual differences diverted me from hand-sewn quilt making to working by feel. I like the tactile energy of its unfinished side. From my beloved, Charles, who inspires me to new ways of creating. Holiday Greeting, Natasha Albuquerque. I am deaf from Tool Works Day program, and I drew flowers and leaves to symbolize holidays. Axis Dance Group, William Galdemez. I am deaf from Toolworks Day program. Drawing Axis Dance Group was exciting. Heart, Lisa Joseph. I am deaf from Toolworks Day program, and I drew a heart to express love for my aunt. Me. David Quang. I am deaf from Toolworks Day program and I drew myself crying. Untitled. Lawrence Price. I am deaf from Toolworks Day program and I drew different shapes in different colors. My home, Car Lam Yan. I drew about my family's trip to my hometown, Hong Kong, and my signing hand, meaning I love you. Train and lift. Anthony Tussler. Too often we don't look, but it's increasingly becoming part of our everyday world. Disabled people are out in it, doing what everyone else does. Fisherman's Hand, Ahmet Ustinel. I see and create my work with my hands, and my hands are the best tool I've ever had. I have a deep appreciation for anyone who works with their hands, and this piece, Fisherman's Hand, is part of a series titled Hands of Patience. Goddess Ganga, Cynthia Adams. Using watercolor and colored pencil, Cynthia cheerfully renders her subjects, plants, animals, people, reproductions that she interprets in her style. Brooklyn. 
Harold Boxer. Harold Boxer works with a jovial demeanor. One can see his sense of movement, cracking jokes and referencing memories and people important to him. The result is a series of rhythmic images suggesting figures and or movement. Kiki, Kelly Greenwald. Kelly Greenwald is an accomplished artist, author, and speaker. Her work is figurative, often with geometrically patterned backgrounds. Heart, Tony Hyde. Tony is a mixed media artist creating work that emanates symbolism and archetypes. His work is very vibrant with intense moving energy. Tony enjoys movement and music, of which is clearly seen in the visual vitality of his artwork. My Surreal Reality Bridget Jackson. Bridget continues to grow and explore new possibilities in her art. Earlier work centered on mythological figures, but in recent months, she has become more interested in collage and surrealism. Orange, Elliot Young. Elliot's paintings are often thickly covered with many layers of material and then scraped away with various scraping tools. Described as colorful, moody, and transcendent, the work focuses on composition and color relationships. Crow Robert Lacey. Robert works with mainly watercolor. Inspired by nature, he paints landscapes, seascapes, and animals, reflecting stories historical or his own. Happy. Megan Olson. Megan paints primarily in watercolor. Her work is often inspired by her emotions. What she draws, paints, and writes express what she is feeling as she creates. Bikini Strip, Christine Schott. Christine loves to spend her days writing and drawing. She enjoys creating art inspired by Hollywood stars and fairy tales. Her vivid imagination percolates with wonderful ideas that translate into quirky, thought-provoking visual art. Van Gogh, Lucy Sokoloff. Lucy enjoys painting vivid, detailed art. She works primarily in watercolor and is inspired by nature and photos she views in books and magazines. While my guitar gently weeps, Rebecca Amick. I like to draw music and pictures because it tells a story about me or how people are feeling happy and they are free to move and dance. Art lets me express what is in my heart and mind more than I can say in words.
rising up from the ashes, Marie Blair. I see things differently. I do things differently. I understand things differently. As an artist with physical and developmental disabilities, my abilities are different. Rons Tagus, TJ Bryant. I have always loved painting, drawing, and recently ceramics. I am passionate about the subjects in my artwork. My own lizards and their different textures give me inspiration, as well as subjects that I see as rare and unique. Singing, B.J. Christensen. I have painted for 32 years. For the last 12, I can't paint using my hand. The only way to paint was with a brush taped to my foot. Recently, I've started to use my hand again. Singing is a flower dancing. I used my foot for the flower head and my hand painted the stem. Cat in the fishbowl, Naomi Rose. I wish they would not cut handicap services because the people need it. I wish the government would cut their paycheck and it would help lower debt. The services help me live an independent life so I can concentrate on my abilities. Golden Gate Bridge, Legion View, Robin Welch. I took the photo of a disabled veteran paraplegic confined to a wheelchair. I use photography for recreation, documentation, and on travel adventures. Freeway traffic, Gary Beck. The disability that I have can cause distortion in my perception of reality. Sometimes this shows up in my artwork. Drawing freehand with charcoal helps me to express some of my ideas. Dinosaur, Kenneth D'Agostino. Kenneth is an intuitive, visual artist. He is also a genius of making belt buckles from almost anything. He also makes his own math problems. Crowsill Sky, Jeffrey Glothier. I was over-medicated. My doctor would not lower my dosage of Crowsill. I reduced it myself and improved. I saved my extra medicine and made this painting and some others. Later, my dosage was officially reduced. Mushroom Forest, Johnny Howe. He is a one-eyed, gentle giant who creates his own distinctive world. There are familiar feelings in his paintings. They give a feeling of innocence and a pure existence. He also makes unique, elegant jewelry. His creations have an organic feel. He told me that he just does it. Make Anything Machine and I, Raymond Laidlaw. I use tree products to help people solve problems and make things with spiritual technology using the tree of life and the tree of knowledge.
White Crane, Liz Nolan. This piece is called White Crane. She represents peace and transformation. I enjoy the creative process. It relaxes and centers. It took me a long time. Tarzan's Odyssey, Patricia O'Connell. My hand tremors, so I have to be deliberate in drawing. My cat is Tarzan. Penguins, Alexia Reynolds. Working on the penguins has helped me work on my concentration and patience. They also remind me that, just as each one is unique, everyone is different in their own way. Standing Tall, Terry Siskron. Terry has his own pop art style of coloring with complex layered colors. He takes coloring to the next level. Starship Designs, Wayne Stanley. My birth doctor damaged me for life. He damaged my memory and motor function areas of my brain, but my design engineering ability didn't get damaged at all. Cats. Gretchen Van Tassel. I like doing collage artwork because it's creative to me. I also make bead jewelry. Eat the Fish presents Go Get Your Gun, Alexis Wilson. As a disabled artist, I use creative expression for therapy, keeping my life interesting and having purpose. This painting is a depiction of actors and character within Eat the Fish presents Go Get Your Gun. Leaner, Timothy Williams. I have a greater respect for nature now that I photographed it. Reticulation, Kurt Weston. I use a scanner as camera, creating overtones of hyperrealism. There is no space between device and subject. Scanners have a shallow depth of field. Flesh against the glass is inhumanly vivid, but anything more remote fades into blur and black, rendering a transmogrified portrait. Jiras by the River, Diane Zumbrunnen. Diane Zumbrunnen is an East Bay native who loves to express herself with brilliant colors and beautiful textures. She is self-taught after over 30 years of painting. Her paintings are in collections throughout the U.S. and England.
My Secret Garden, Kathy Waddell. Since 2005, My Secret Garden has been created with beautiful slate and river pebble pathways, fragrant flowers, lovely birds, beautiful butterflies, a birdhouse with a music box inside, and me, painting watercolors since 2009. My disability has been a gift of many wonderful new opportunities.